You're listening to Short Inspirations from Ralph. Forgiving the Unforgivable, Part 3. In the movie that we referred to, The Railway Man, Eric Lomax, the main character, was part of a group after the war that was led by a man called Findlay. Finley was a driven, empty shell of a man who only wanted to pay back those who tortured them. When in the movie he, f- he finds that the officer is still alive, he tries to convince Lomax to kill him and he says this, that all they are, this group, are an army of ghosts, miming in the choir. They can't live, they can't love, they can't sleep. Wow. And then he says something that was really interesting. He says, I'm still at war. Quite a dramatic way to illustrate what goes on in a person's life, in the extreme really, when they hold on to grudges, when they hold on to unforgiveness, when they want revenge. Some years ago we visited the city of Bath located in the UK and it was an ancient Roman city that uh, provided hot pools and baths hence the name Bath. When we went there we were amazed to find the concept that there was a goddess Sulis Minerva living in the hot water underground that supplied the pools. This is what they believed. And what they did, they would come to the baths and inscribe on a small lead sheet someone's name or names of people who they wanted to curse for some misdemeanor or or something they've done wrong. Then they would take this tablet and throw it into the pool to this goddess to carry out the curse and they believed that the goddess would place spirits or and would perform actions on the person on the victim or the person that was inscribed on the tablet the subject of the curse this willingness to get back at the people who have harmed us is common to the human condition and we all have at least thoughts about doing something like this in order to get revenge. Our third point in this series is this, holding on to unforgiveness can be very damaging to ourselves. We end up causing great pain and suffering and damage to ourselves in our inner world. We see the world through obscure glasses. We see the world in black and white instead of colour. In 2005, the FBI knocked on the door of a woman called Kerry Lawson. The FBI told her that her loving father, a very staunch church leader, Dennis Rader, was the BTK killer, which stood for Bind, Torture, Kill. He was responsible for 10 deaths in the 70s and 80s and was still killing. He was arrested and put away for the rest of his natural life. Kerry, the daughter, despised him and hated him. She thought that she would never, could never forgive him. Then at church one day, a woman told her that if we choose not to forgive or not work at healing from the betrayal, we continue to give the other person power to control us and our feelings. Interesting. She forgave him and wrote him a letter saying that she would never forget what he had done, but she was at peace with the man who had 
raised her. After that letter, Kerry changed. Before she forgave him, she thought of herself as BTK's daughter. Her husband said, but as soon as she forgave him, she was Kerry again. Amazing. So when you forgive someone, even with horrendous stuff that they've done against you, you release the hold they have over you. God bless you.